why this river is so green? This phenomenon is algal bloom, which is caused by single cellular organism, algae. Can you believe this one cell organism can make a better future? Hi everyone, my name is Suya Lee, and I'm going to talk about tiny, giant algae. To, to tell you the story, I have divided my presentation into three parts. First, I briefly introduce algae. Then, through some examples, both the bright and dark side of algae today will be presented. And finally, I'm going to show you why algae is important for a better future. Did you get the flow? Let's start the story. So, what is algae exactly? In this presentation, algae will represent photosynthetic unicellular organism. Algae first emerged in 3.5 billion years ago. With their photosynthetic ability, they emit oxygen in the air. After 5 billion years, they have conquered the earth, as oxygen was very toxic to fire organisms. In addition, algae is the simplest form of plant. From evolutionary aspect, algae are thought to be the very first plant life on earth. So if you have trouble imagining algae, you may think them as one cell plant. Thus, algae share many similarities with the plants we know. Both of them can create oxygen, and they are very good at survival. With these abilities, they enrich the green earth until now. Today, algae are everywhere. You may new to algae, but actually you are used to them. Seaweed and kelp, which you may eat once a week, are natural algae. Some nutrition products are made with algae, and surprisingly, this lovely pink clay could have its color thanks to algae living in. On the other side, yes, algae have troublesome points. The worst part of algae is eutrophication. Eutrophication, which is better known with name Aga Bloom, is a sudden increase of algae on warm days. Aga Bloom is getting worse worldwide due to increasing level of detergent usage and food waste. When algae blooms, algae cuts down oxygen and light under the water. And also, they have the amid toxins which can be bought up to underwater ecosystem. Moreover, some toxins have potential to be found in our drinking water. As a result, algae gained a bad reputation, and eliminating algae became a goal in many areas. However, there are some scientists who want algae to bloom. What? Can you guess? Many scientists see algae as an energy and food source for a better future. As I mentioned, algae can absorb carbon dioxide and lives everywhere, only needing open water. The more amazing thing of algae is it can produce biodiesel, which is its factory place fossil fuel in the future. Thus, scientists are looking for some ways to make these gigantic oxygen factories even bigger. For a good example, NASA introduced the Omega project. When wastewater is treated, carbon dioxide can be absorbed, and lots of oil can be produced, as you can see in this graph. Moreover, some grown algae, like spirulina, are eatable, being nutritious and containing rich protein. Ladies and gentlemen, neither I nor all of us own the earth. However, humans have used resources as if they need own the earth. Therefore, people are rightly looking for solutions to make a better future for all the things in this planet. I'm sure algae is the super solution. This tiny one cell organism with a long geological history can solve climate issues, food problems, and even energy problems. Until now, we have fixated on new materials, new technologies. However, some new solutions are not so complex or new, but we simply need to look at them with a new attitude or understanding. Like Algae. I will end my presentation with the message of Occam's Razor. The simplest solution is the best solution.
Desde Nahuatl, 